After much use, the gantry and the spindle can lose their alignment. Here are some tips on how to align your router. Starting with the gantry, firstly make sure that everything is tightened properly because the problem could be as simple as loose screws that are giving the gantry too much play. Now, move the gantry up and down a few times to loosen any tension. Metal has a natural contraction and expansion element to it, so this action in itself will help to naturally realign the gantry. If it is still out of alignment, we can move to the next step. Now, the vertical axis will always be true and will therefore always be the baseline from which to start the alignment. So if the x-axis is not 90 degrees to the y-axis, either positively or negatively in value, the x-axis needs to be aligned. Start by drawing a y-axis, then use a square to draw an x-axis close to the gantry. You could use chipboard to draw the line on. Now look from directly above and see if the gantry needs to move forwards or backwards in order to be squared to the x-axis line. Does it need only a few millimeters to align or quite a lot, like 5 centimeters? For minimal adjustments, make sure the machine is on so that the motor will stop the gantry support arms from moving. Now loosen the gantry nuts at the bottom and use a rubber hammer to knock the gantry into position. Then tighten the screws again. It can be argued that the same can be done for the smaller values, but there is another way that you could try. Go to the motherboard and locate the driver cables for the opposite side gantry support arm. Now leave the power cables as they are, but unplug the controller cable that comes from the motherboard because it will no longer be controlled and therefore it won't move. That means that only the left side gantry support arm can move. So now, go to stepper mode on the panel and define how much one step is as the value that the alignment is out by and then do one step. Once that is done, plug the controller cable back in and our both arms will move at 90 degrees to the Y axis. For the Z axis, we need to make sure that the spindle is perfectly vertical to the table. The spindle can only be out of alignment on the X or the Y axis. To check it, just use a square. If it is out on the X axis, you can untighten the nuts, use a rubber hammer to knock it back into place and then tighten the nuts again. But if it is out on the Y axis, you will need to use a shim behind the spindle mount to account for the mount that the spindle is out by. And there you go, just a few tips on how to align your router. Remember, you can always call am.co.za technical support for... Step number two. The spindle returns to the origin and the coordinates return to zero. Number 3. Stick tape paper on the work table directly below the spindle for marking. Control the spindle to lower the tool close to the work table and manually rotate the tool to drill a hole on the tape paper. Number 4. Step 200 cm along the Y axis and drill a hole in the same way to make a mark. Step 120 cm along the X axis to drill a hole again.
and step 200 cm along the y-axis to drill a hole. Complete the work benchmark. Number 5. Align the mark with the tape measure and accurately measure the length of the two diagonals. And draw a sketch to indicate. It's usually one of the two situations that I draw in the video. This video machine is case one. Number six. In case one, the height of the right side is four millimeter, and the right side gantry needs to be adjusted forward by four millimeter. Number seven. Turn off the main power of the machine and move the gantry to the y-axis limit switch and make its size close to the limit switch. Number eight. Loosen the screws under the gantry on the both sides. Loosen three screws, two and a half turns and loosen the last score one turn. Number 9. Remove the right limit switch and measure the length of the, uh, with a tape measure to adjust the length forward by 4 mm. Number 10. After adjustment, tighten the screws on both sides of the gantry and repeat step 2 to 5 to mirror again. If there is no error in the data, complete the diagonal adjustment.